In the spring of 1928, one of the funniest, most entertaining, and influential radio shows in American history debuted. Originally called Sam and Henry, that program first hit the local Chicago airwaves on January the 12th, 1926. While it was arguably the most popular radio show of all time, the TV show, which debuted in June of 1951, didn't get quite the same reception as its radio predecessor. Why was the radio show so popular and the TV show canceled so quickly? Let's get into it now on this episode of Rerun Zone. In the spring of 1928, one of the funniest, most entertaining, and influential radio shows in American history debuted. Sam and Henry was an immediate hit when it debuted in 1926, but after two years, creators Freeman Gosden and Charles Correll took their show to a rival Chicago station and soon found out that their former radio station, WGN, still owned the rights to the characters' names. Instead of trying to regain their rights, they took a chance and just changed the names. That was the beginning of the radio show known as Amos and Andy. When Gosden and Correll took their show over to rival station WMAQ in Chicago, their new contract also gave them national syndication rights, and virtually overnight, the show's popularity exploded across the country. Many radio historians say that it was the most popular radio program ever broadcast, attracting a regular audience of over 40 million listeners. Gosden and Correll, the creators and stars of the radio show, were both white, but the characters they portrayed were two black men from the Deep South who had moved to Chicago to seek their fortune. It wasn't controversial at the time. Blackface, where white actors wear dark makeup on stage, had been a tradition in American theater for almost a hundred years. However, it became a problem when the show later moved to television. Written as a comedy, the daily radio program captivated America's listening habits for 15 minutes, five days a week, and had a tremendous impact on its everyday routines. During the late 20s and early 30s, Amos and Andy was America's most popular radio show. It was so popular that American presidential candidate Al Smith didn't want to compete with the broadcast. He would time the radio commercials for his 1928 presidential campaign so they didn't conflict with the show. Famous playwright and political activist George Bernard Shaw said, There are three things that I shall never forget about America. The Rocky Mountains, Niagara Falls, and Amos and Andy. Their show quickly soared to national fame in syndication, and its popularity grew even greater during the Great Depression and World War II when they added the character of Kingfish. Kingfish then took center stage with Andy while Amos took more of a supporting role. After 23 years of radio popularity and one of the longest-running radio shows in history, the new medium of television came calling. The Amos and Andy TV show made its debut in June of 1951. Since the creators and chief actors on the radio show were white, the TV show wanted to cast all black actors. They held a talent search for over four years before the show's debut to find the perfect actors for the parts. The only two actors to come over from the radio show were Ernestine Wade as Sapphire Stevens and Amanda Randolph as Sapphire's mother, Ramona Smith. They set the TV show in Harlem and it followed the exploits of George Stevens, played by Tim Moore, a scheming character who was constantly looking for a way to make a quick buck. In the position of Kingfish, the mystic knights of the Sea Lodge leader, he got most of his Lodge brothers to help him with his various schemes. Andy Brown, played by Spencer Williams Jr., was the Lodge's most naive member. He was a husky, well-meaning, straightforward guy with a big heart. Kingfish was always trying to cheat him and would usually get them both into trouble, but Andy kept coming back for more. Amos Jones, played by Alvin Childress, was a philosophical cab driver and a moral family man. He also narrated many of the episodes. Hal Road Studios, the company responsible for the Our Gang comedy shorts, produced Amos and Andy from June of 1951 to April 1953 with an initial run of 52 episodes. It was one of the first TV shows to use a multi-camera setup a full four months before I Love Lucy used the same technique. Almost as soon as they broadcast the first episode, 
there were protests against it, saying that the show was a gross distortion of black America. The NAACP released a bulletin stating why the Amos and Andy TV show should be taken off the air. The release says that the show tends to strengthen the conclusion among uninformed and prejudiced people that blacks are inferior, lazy, dumb, and dishonest. A cynical person would suspect that they never even watch the shows. If that was their argument, shouldn't Laurel and Hardy, the Three Stooges, and Abbott and Costello also have been taken off the air? The black actors chosen were highly talented performers with great comedic talent and timing. These gifted people opened the doors for black performers that came after them. The episodes depict genuine friendship, generosity, love, and concern for one's fellow man, both strangers and neighbors alike. Mr. Jones, you're the father of a seven pound baby girl. Before social media, and in one of the earliest examples of cancel culture, continuing pressure and protests led to a heated debate that scared away many of the show's potential sponsors and led to a quick cancellation, even though the show finished relatively high in the Nielsen ratings. CBS frequently reran the show in syndication until 1966, when they finally bowed to criticism and pulled the program off the air. For the next 46 years, the show didn't appear on American television. Bootleg VHS and DVD versions of Amos and Andy popped up, though, with up to 71 of the 78 known TV episodes included. At the show's cancellation, 65 episodes had been filmed. The final 13 episodes were supposed to air during the 1953-54 season, but were instead distributed with the syndicated repeats. In 1954 and 55, they made 13 additional episodes for the syndicated rerun package. Most of those episodes focused on the Kingfish character. They were supposed to be titled The Adventures of Kingfish, but were instead distributed under the Amos and Andy banner. Gosden and Carell avoided strict racial comedy as they portrayed African-American life while minimizing racial references and avoiding situations that even hinted at racial problems. Some of the finest black comedians ever assembled for television were part of that cast. They made jokes that most black people found funny in private. Most episodes are now available and can be seen freely on YouTube. Why don't you watch them and decide for yourself? I recommend starting with the episode titled The Christmas Story from Season 2. It's a heartwarming episode that highlights the true nature of family and showcases the character's moral fiber. Mm, that doll sure is something, ain't she? That's a talking doll, Uncle Andy. It's my favorite. That's the one I told Daddy I wanted. But he said Santa Claus couldn't afford it this year. It's truly an outstanding episode. I'll leave a link in the description below. In retrospect, no one could ever agree on whether the show was actually racist. The people who made it didn't think so, and actor Alvin Childress, who played Amos, is on record as saying that he didn't feel that the show harmed black people at all. He stated that the series had many episodes that showed blacks with professions and businesses like attorneys, business owners, and so on, which they never had in TV or movies before. Others pointed out that the situations were very similar to those in many other comedies featuring white actors. It's doubtful that we will ever see Amos and Andy appear on television again. Still, the show influenced America, revealing that African Americans could not only be funny, but they are just like everyone else. That, my darling daughter, is the real spirit of Christmas. That's good, Daddy. And as always, this is Rich from Rerun Zone signing off.